In this video, I want to help you get a better understanding of surround sound and immersive audio systems. We'll look at speaker configurations like 5.1 and 7.1.4, and I'll also provide a link below the video to a speaker placement guide, which will help you ensure your speakers are set up properly. By the way, this video is sponsored by the Audio University membership community. Each month, our members get access to exclusive content, expert mix reviews, and a community of like-minded people. If you're interested in joining, check out the link below the video or go to audiouniversityonline.com slash join the community. I'm looking forward to meeting you there. The word immersive can be used to describe an experience that makes the listener feel engrossed in the production they're listening to. Audio engineers have been striving to make productions more immersive for decades. Engineers use level, reverb, and a number of other tools to simulate depth. They can use two speakers in a stereo configuration to create a stereo image from left to right, or add in even more speakers at ear level to create sounds from all around the listener. These things do make for a more immersive experience for the listener. That's true, but they aren't technically immersive audio systems unless they meet a very specific criteria. In the audio production industry, the term immersive audio is used to specifically describe a sound system that not only creates an immersive experience in the horizontal dimension, but also in the vertical dimension. As technology advances, engineers are constantly finding and implementing new techniques and methods for creating immersive productions with the tools available, but I want you to keep one thing in mind. We only have two ears. So immersive audio is fundamentally a binaural experience. The systems that have been developed and used throughout the history of immersive audio are tools that play on human anatomy and psychology to create immersive experiences. There's nothing saying that we have to use physical speakers placed throughout a room. That just happens to be a very effective and reliable way to immerse a listener in an audio experience. With that out of the way, we can start talking about the specific speaker configurations that you'll find within surround and immersive formats. First, let's go over the speaker configuration used in Dolby surround systems, 5.1. The 5 in 5.1 represents the ear level speakers. That's left, center, right, surround left, and surround right. The 1 in 5.1 refers to a dedicated LFE, or low frequency effects channel. This system allows listeners to hear things from various directions on the horizontal plane with the LFE for low frequency signals independent of the other channels. For a surround system to become immersive, you introduce height channels. There are two basic types of immersive systems, ambisonics and Dolby Atmos. For the purposes of this video, I'll focus mostly on Dolby Atmos. In an immersive configuration, you'll find ear level channels, one LFE channel, and height channels, allowing the listener to hear things not only from around them, but also from above them or potentially below them. Both formats, Ambisonics and Dolby Atmos, are scalable in terms of the specific speaker configurations that can be used, but it's recommended that an immersive system include at least five ear level channels and two height channels. Dolby Atmos systems build on the 5.1 speaker configuration of Dolby Surround, where the first number indicates the number of lateral speaker channels, the second number indicates the number of LFE channels, and the third number indicates the number of height channels. To make sure you understand this naming framework, leave a comment below describing a Dolby Atmos system with nine ear level speakers, one LFE, and four overhead speakers. I'll leave the answer in the description below the video. And you can also download the free speaker placement guide which will show you exactly how to place your speakers for many common Dolby Atmos speaker layouts. In an ambisonic format, the first number represents the speakers on the lateral plane, and the second number represents the number of height channels in the system. There is still only one LFE channel, but it's assumed and not named. Speaking of the LFE, I want to clarify one more thing. Subwoofers can be used for bass management in order to extend the frequency response of your speakers to include sub frequencies. This is not an LFE, but a supplement to the lateral and height speakers. An LFE is independent from the other channels in the system. In the next video, you'll learn more about Dolby Atmos and how you can potentially listen to 360 degree immersive audio using just headphones. I'll see you there.